Welcome back. You're still tuned into Power Breakfast. Uh, well, let's uh, welcome Manisha Gupta on the show. She's joining us with all the update from the commodity space. Hi, Manisha. Good morning. A lot happening in crude, silver, copper as well. Oh, well, yes, there's some profit taking that we finally are looking at in many of these commodities. So while the first week of July was a great week, but uh, today and overnight there has been some decline here. I'll start with the crude oil prices, which are now trading at a one-week low. Well, the hurricane barrel has made a landfall and it has been less damaging than expected at the Texas coast. Remember, 40% of the U.S. crude and oil is produced at Texas and various ports and terminals were shut. But we do understand that the damage has been minimal. And then apart from that, senior U.S. officials are in Egypt for ceasefire talks between Gaza and Israel. Well, that conflict has been on for nine months and the conversation seems to be progressing. It's also taking some premium off the prices. Not just crude, when you look at other metals, the weakness in U.S. dollar while has been supportive, but it has been high inventories, which continues to weigh onto the market. So whether it's about iron ore or copper, we have started the day slightly on the weaker note. And it's a similar scenario for gold and silver. Gold fell 1% overnight and silver fell 2%. China has refrained from gold purchase for a second straight month in the month of June. That seems to be weighing on. Okay, all right. So some profit booking in some of these commodities. Thank you so much, Manisha, for joining us as always and getting us that update from the commodity markets.